Now, the board of scandal hit Volkswagen has appointed Matthias Müller as a new chief executive. Müller, who has been the CEO of Porsche, has been the front runner for the top job. And Mr. Müller, who takes over from Martin Winterkorn, who resigned on Wednesday, said restoring the company's reputation was his top priority. He also said he would tighten up procedures at the company. And of course, VW is expected to dismiss executives tainted by the scandal over the rigging of emission tests by software in its diesel cars in the U.S. Now, Volkswagen shares have plunged as much as 40% since U.S. regulators said that, said that last Friday it had admitted to programming diesel cars to detect when they were being tested and after the running of their engines to conceal their true emissions. Now, Katie Gregory is live in London right now with more on that story. Katie, great to have you on the show. Now, Matthias, uh, the head of Porsche, has been fingered for the top job at a VW. What more do we know about uh, this after today's board meeting and what makes him the man for the job? And of course, how are investors responding to this? Well, that's the all-important question, isn't it? We had those rumours confirmed. Matthias Müller, the head of the company's Porsche division, uh, is now in the top job. This is a really welcome move from a market and investor perspective. Uh, he's the former head of product strategy and is really being seen as a, as a solid choice and probably the only choice in this position. Uh, let's face it, he has the tough and very unenviable task of really picking VW's reputation out of the mud, wiping it off and getting the company running again. Uh, the 62-year-old actually once joked that he was too old to take this job. It, clearly that's not a view standing in his way now. He was actually backed by a majority, we believe, on the 20-member board. Uh, he's actually worked at the company since 1970s, so this will please investors, you would think. He is a favourite within the company. Uh, the acting chairman today said, said Mueller has a strong strategic corporate and social qualities, and he'll really have to in order to usher in this new era at Volkswagen. Mm. Now, Katie, tell us a bit more about what the board found today. I mean, for example, were either MAN or Scania trucks, both of which uh, are owned by VW, involved in any way with the scandal? Or was the dodgy code only, only installed in VW models? Well, this is something that analysts have, have really been hoping that we would find out soon. In all of this, VW hasn't released a really confirmed list as to the make and models that have been affected. Uh, at this stage, we're not hearing that Scania and MAN trucks have been involved. Of course, VW's Jetta, Beetle, Golf and Audi A3 models in the US, uh, that was from 2009 to 2015, they were involved, and the Passat model from 2014 to 15. Now, they had the devices which produced these doctored results. Uh, obviously, the fact surrounding this and, and which models are involved are still unraveling. Hopefully we'll find out more next week. Uh, what we have heard though is that back in April uh, Volkswagen in the US sent recall letters to California owners of those diesel powered Audis and Volkswagens informing them of an emission service action that was affecting vehicles. So owners were basically told it would simply involve a new software being installed and that we believe was in the hopes of really satisfying those government regulators there. So uh, with more countries looking very closely into this scandal uh, you would expect Volkswagen will have to come clean as to exactly which cars have been tainted by this. Mm. And Katie, on that note, is the VW problem now an industry problem? For example, the European Union is urging its 28 members uh, to start their own investigations to get a full, full picture of the number of vehicles equipped uh, with defeat devices. Is it true that companies like BMW, uh, competitors of course of VW, are threatened by this move? Well, yes, they will be. We've seen that purely just in the share price movement of car makers like BMW and Renault this week, down, then up again, then down again, uh, and despite them denying any manipulation of their vehicles. Uh, but with more governments around the world, as I said, announcing these testing on diesel vehicles, we could see more models and we could see more car manufacturers coming under scrutiny. scrutiny rather. Uh, the government here in the UK has added to those countries who will be launching an investigation into the actual vehicle emissions testing. Now, you'd 
expect that at the centre of this uh, would be and, and really should be the testing process in itself. I mean, some analysts have described this scandal as the car industry's libel moment. Uh, that means it's not just a scandal for the companies, it's a scandal for the regulators that have really allowed themselves to be taken in by these tests and, and who have set standards that are now widely considered too low. Uh, and unfortunately, it will be up to other car manufacturers to really open up their garages, so to speak, for scrutiny. Well, thanks so much, Katie, uh, for that.